Hello everyone, welcome to BISP Solutions. I am Preeti Rajani, working here as Function Consultant. So in today's video, we are going to discuss about conversion rate type in Oracle Fusion application. For understanding purpose, I am taking the basic question that is what is currency? So we all know that what is currency, but still for understanding purpose, I am taking this question. Currency is a medium of exchange for goods and services. In short, it's money in the form of paper or coins, usually issued by a government or generally accepted at its face value as a method of payment. Now, what is currency conversion? It is essentially the price measure of one currency against another. As the rate changes, one country's money can become weaker or stronger against the currency of other country. For example, here, one euro is equal to number of units of US. You can see the quote here, euro per US. But it means one euro is one euro equal to number of units of US dollar. So here, the conversion rate is 1.25. It means one euro can equate to 1.25 dollar in American currency. What is conversion rate type? Use conversion rate type to automatically assign a rate when you convert foreign currency journal amounts to functional currency equivalents. When you enter a foreign currency journal, general ledger automatically displays the predefined exchange rate based on the currency rate type and conversion date you enter. So here you need to understand what is foreign currency and what is functional currency. Functional currency is the currency that represents the primary economic environment in which an entity operates. Functional currency is a primary currency in which business operates. And foreign currency are all the currencies other than functional currency. Now we will discuss the predefined rate type that are provided by Oracle itself. The first rate type is spot rate. Spot rate is the price quoted for immediate settlement on a commodity, a security or a currency. The spot rate also called spot price is based on the value of an asset at the moment of the quote. Second is corporate rate. An exchange rate you define to standardize rates for your company. This rate is generally a standard market rate determined by senior financial management for use throughout the organization. Third rate type is user rate type. This is an exchange rate you specify when you enter a foreign currency journal entry. Fourth is fixed rate type, an exchange rate set between two currencies that remain constant. Above mentioned rates are predefined daily conversion rate types which are provided by general ledger. What is daily rate type? Daily currency conversion rates can be maintained between any two currencies. You can enter daily conversion rates for specific combination of foreign currency, date and conversion rate type. There are three different methods of loading currency rates are manual load using the create daily rates through spreadsheet. Second is manual load using the import and calculate daily rates file based data import. Third is automatic load using web services. How currency conversation take place? In the given picture, you can see that we have a company, New Life Corporation. Its functional currency is INR and foreign currency, all the currencies other than INR. Here, when transaction is taking place in India, then there will be no need of conversion rate type because journal entry will be passed in INR currency, that is functional currency. But when transaction is taking place in country other than India, then there will be need of conversion rate type because journal entry need to be passed in INR currency, but the transaction took the place in foreign currency. So at the time of passing journal entry, we need to convert foreign currency amount in functional currency. Now we will see practically how to manage conversion rate 
type in Oracle Fusion application. So now move to our application. Now here in the instance, go to setup and maintenance. Go to task list. Click on manage implementation project. Click on your project. Here in the task option, search manage conversion rate types. Click on this task. Click on go to task option. Here you can see the predefined rate type that have been provided by Oracle are here, corporate rate type, fixed, spot rate, user rate. If you want to create new rate type, we can click on create icon. I'm creating the rate type corporate average. Here you want to give description. Click on enforce inverse relationship. When you click on enable inverse checkbox, then system will automatically create inverse rates. If you want to enable cross rates, then you can click on this checkbox. Here you have to mention cross rate pivot currency. I'm taking it as INR. Below you have to mention contra currencies. I'm taking it as GBP. Add another contra currency, say USD. Click on done. This is how we created conversion rate type. Now we will see how to manage daily rates. Go to task option. Here, click on daily rates. Click on create in spreadsheet option. As soon as you click on this option, a file will get downloaded. Click on open file. Click on yes. Now it will ask for your login credentials. Enter your username and password. Here you, you have to give the daily rates from currency. I'm taking it as INR. To currency USD. Conversion rate type. I'm taking it as corporate. In this field, you have to mention the date. I'm taking today's date. I also I'm giving the same date. Here you have to give the conversion rate.
this rate is per INR equal to number of unit of USD. Now click on submit option. Click on OK. You can see here row inserted successfully. Click on OK. This is how you practically created conversion rate type in Oracle Fusion application. Now move to our PPTs. Now we will talk about currency translation. So what is currency translation? Currency translation is the process of converting one currency in terms of another. Often in the context of the financial results of a parent company's foreign subsidiary into its functional currency. The currency of the primary economic environment in which an entity generates and expands cash flows. So here in the given picture, you can see that New Life Corporation is the parent company it have four subsidiaries a company from usa b company from australia c company from germany d company from uk so you have to convert all the transaction amount to inr for reporting purpose for creating consolidated financial statements we have to convert the transactional amount in parent company's currency. What is currency translation effect? Translation effect is the risk that a company's equities, assets, liabilities or income will change in value as a result of exchange rate changes. This occurs when a firm denominates a portion of its equities, assets, liabilities or income in a foreign currency. What is unrealized gain loss due to change in currency rates? A gain or loss is unrealized if the transaction amount has not been settled by the end of the accounting period. Here we will see the example of currency translation. Let's say your home currency that is your functional currency is INR and you post an invoice for 100 GBP to an Indian customer. On the invoice date, 1 GBP was equal to 95 INR. That means invoice amount will be 9500 INR. The invoice has not been paid by the end of the current accounting period. On the last day of the current accounting period, we have to value the currency the value of 1 GBP has dropped to 90 INR. That means now invoice amount is 9000 INR. Therefore, as of the end of the current accounting period, you have an unrealized loss of 500 INR. The following table summarizes the unrealized gain or loss. Invoice amount was 100 GBP. Exchange rate on invoice date was 1 GBP equal to 95 INR and the invoice amount was 9500. If we would have realized the same amount on the invoice date, then we would have received 9500 rupees. But on the exchange rate on last day of accounting period, 1 GBP is equal to 90 INR. That means the invoice amount on the last day of accounting period is 9000. Due to change in currency rates we have we are facing the loss of 500 rupees so this is unrealized loss this is our comprehensive we will recognize it as our comprehensive income or loss so this was all about conversion rate type and currencies i hope you understood thank you so much for watching the video